I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Okay, this is the fourth and last part of my response to Empty Without Jesus' comments on one of my videos. Again, links are in the sidebar. Uh, I apologize. I know you know, you make a few comments on one of my videos, and my response is almost well, 40 minutes worth of a, of a video to you. But that's how I am. That's, I, I, I'm not good at wording. My, I'm not good at succinct wording. Um, uh, if you don't want to watch them, don't watch them. That's what kind of way I look at it. Um, but I, most okay. Your responses in my part one, a lot of it were you were. You're, this it's kind of all revolves around this thing about degree. Okay, um, and I'm going to try to. I, this is the fourth take of this I've made because I went over every time. I'm going to try to get to it. Um, you make a comment that. Uh, You know, if degree doesn't matter, how come people, um, you know, insult you and tell you you need to get a degree before you can talk about biology? And I think, first of all, some of those I'm sure. So I haven't looked at your, the comments you got and all of, but I'm sure some of those are trolls. There's people out there that comment on. Every, they have something nasty to say about anything you say or anything anybody else says. But the ones that are, I think, what people are really trying to say to you, the, um, the, take it constructively. Are they saying that you need to learn about the topic that you're you're arguing against? You know, I think that's really what it is. And you do, and I don't mean this as an insult at all, but you 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 say things that let me know that you don't understand the topic. Okay, you don't understand you don't understand what you're attacking. Okay, I know you, I'm not saying don't believe in creation, but I'm saying learn about evolution. Okay, knowing about creation doesn't automatically mean you know about evolution so you're attacking what you're attacking on evolution is a straw man it's a it's a it's a farce it doesn't not you 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 state our position as things that we never say and i don't think you're doing it deliberately um i think you're getting misinf misinformation from creationist sources and you're believing it to be true and you're 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 repeating it and um i think that's what people are trying to say is that you need to learn about it um you can't you know, there, there's, a, there's an expression, um, uh, before you think outside the box, you need to learn what's inside the, what is inside the box. I think that's how it goes. Um, essentially, you know, it, and that, that kind of fits in this scenario. If, if you're going to be, if you're going to be taken seriously, criticism, criticizing evolution, you need to, to really understand it. And I can help you. Um, there's plenty of, of really good adic there's good resources out there to explain it and I if you want to PM me about, if you're interested I will recommend a couple of a really good uh, basic you know pretty 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 basic easy to read and I don't mean easy to read because you're slow you're I think you're a smart guy I'm not saying that at all I mean easy to read because they're not they're not a lot of jargon um, you know you don't have to you don't have to sit there with a dictionary while reading them books that are you know explain evolutionary biology very well um, you know in very easy to understand terms uh, kind of go through it and I can recommend a few of those too there, there's some really good ones out there um, and I'd really like it if you would I think it'd be great I would love to discuss debate discuss these issues with somebody who knows what they're talking about um, and I've yet to meet it out of hundreds of people I've talked to. I have not met a single creationist yet who understands evolution. Um, I, 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 I'm prone to believe that a creationist who understands evolution is called an evolutionist. But not that that's not a very good term. I've known lots of people who used to be creationists until they learned. Um, you know. But anyway, that, that aside, I, I, I want to talk about this thing with this, getting a degree... Um, and the importance of a degree. A degree really is a piece of paper, and I, I hate that expression simply because I've, I've busted my ass to get my degrees. Um, but I, it really is a piece of paper that what it's worth is is that it tells people that you've sat through X number of classes and you fulfilled X number of requirements and, and you know gotten this, this thing. Um, if you can trust that the system works. Um, I know it's not foolproof. I've known people that have gotten even PhDs that... I think are kind of idiots personally. Um, I, I know not very many of them, but they're they're out there. Um, and I don't mean because again, I'm not saying they're idiots because I disagree with them. I mean they're idiots because they have a really hard time with this thinking thing. Uh, most of the time, the system weeds those people out. On the other hand, other side of the coin, I, one of the the best invertebrate taxonomists I know, um, and I'm really good at what I do. I'm actually really really good at what I do. Um, this guy's better than me. 
doesn't have a college degree at all. Um, he simply knows his stuff. He's the best there is. Um, anyway, so looking at it that way, but I think of it like I always like to. I think of things in terms of analogies. Okay, so let's say you want to rewire your house. Your house, old house, you want to rewire it. That's what you want to do. Um, you look in the phone book. You you find a company. They recommend one of their best electricians. This guy, you know, he went to, he 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 went to college. He's got the whatever the the certificate is. Um, did his apprenticeship. Did all of that stuff. Um, he's been working. He's got recommendations. He's a he's a great electrician. Okay, so you're trusting that his degrees were something. You're trusting that his you know apprenticeship means something. That that piece of paper has some value. Okay, that's one one way you one route you can go. Another route is. Your neighbor says, hey, I know this guy. The guy didn't even graduate high school. I mean, he dropped out like ninth grade. Um, okay? But he's he, he, he worked with his dad as an electrician for over 30 years. And then he took over the company. The guy's rewired half the houses, wired half the houses in this community. Um, he's really, really cheap. He does exceptional work. He's quick. I mean, he, you know, he's much better than going through any company. Right? That's another route you can go. That guy... He doesn't have the degree, but he's got the experience and the knowledge. Okay, and I think that's what people are asking you to get: the experience, not 30 years, the experience and knowledge, though. Now, but let's say this: let's say you hire this guy under your neighbor's recommendation, um, and you know he's consulting, walking around, looking at what the job's going to be to give you an estimate, and you talk about uh, your fuse box or your uh, breaker box, and the guy tells you, you know. I don't use, I don't put, I, I bypass all breakers, um, fuses. I don't believe in them. And you're like, what, excuse me? You don't believe in breakers? What about house fires and stuff? And he said, you know what? That's a scam by insurance companies. They want you to think that wiring burns houses down, but it doesn't really. There's never been a real fire that's proven to be electrical. That's just something they tell you. Okay. <laughs> now you're going to say, get, get out of my house. I don't want you touching my house, right? I would, I would hope so. Um, anyway, but that so that is the case. That's that's the category that I would place you in because you're making these comments about squirrels with rabbit heads and things. These crocodile type examples that you're coming up with. That's why people aren't taking you seriously and telling you to get an education. Okay, long explanation to say that, but this is what you need to um, you need to know. And I'll, I got to finish this up here real quick. Um, about your you, one of your one of your things you show WebMD, the the magazine WebMD. Um, I hope you didn't steal that, by the way. I hope you got that legitimately. <laughs> um, uh, but anyway, uh, that's what I thought when I saw that. I thought, did he take that? Um, you know, those magazines are for everybody to enjoy. They're not just, you know, take a free one. I'm assuming you you got permission. Um, that's not a peer-reviewed scientific journal. Medicine and science themselves aren't exactly compatible. They're not exactly not compatible. They're not exactly the same thing anyways. Medicine, they overlap to a great degree, but there, there's there's some differences. But that right there is a pop at best a pop science journal. Um, people, I, when you see read a magazine, I think they mean read an actual science magazine. Um, I think that I would assume that's I didn't see what what they were referring to, but um, and I want to finish this up real quick. What you made a comment here, just you made about uh, Darwin um, again, and you state that you Darwin's. Um, If Darwin were alive today, he would agree with the evidence that suggests intelligent design. Um, you know what? He wouldn't. Um, nothing, I'm going to say this, none of the arguments for creation or intelligent design, none of them, not one of the fundamental arguments are new. They were, Darwin addresses them in Origin of the Species. He addresses those Paley argument from design. All of those things were back then. These guys... Michael Behe and such are recycling old arguments. They're 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 doing them on a different level. They're talking about molecular biology and stuff, but they're the same arguments that existed during Darwin's time. Okay, they're the nothing's changed. Um, Darwin smashed those arguments in Origin of the Species. He re, he addresses them. He he goes he discusses Paley in detail. Okay, the watchmaker concept, and he shows how it doesn't apply. Um, anyway, so I don't think for a second Darwin would convert to um, intelligent design with a, you know if he were alive today. So 
Anyway, I'm going to stop now. Uh, take care, please. I think you're a nice guy. Um, again, unless the Ar- Lars Ulrich thing was an insult, in which case, screw you. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I think you're a nice guy. I want. I, 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 I hope the best for you. 